let's look at the DXC 1200 studio color camera. This color camera will be a major innovation in our color line, and we feel that our sales in 1974 will be as many as we are capable of manufacturing. The reasons for our enthusiasm about this camera is that it fits almost every need. It will be a low-cost color camera, selling for approximately $5,000, possibly a little less. It is ideally designed either as a one-camera operation or a multi-camera operation. The encoder and the sync generator are totally contained in this camera unit. For the operator who is using it with a pneumatic device, either editing or non-editing, he simply has to plug an AC cord into the wall and take a coax cable directly out of this receptacle that you see here. For the more sophisticated user who wants to use two or three cameras, we have a multi-pin connector here. This multi-pin connector goes back to a junction unit that engages both the tally system and the intercom system. Later, we hope to introduce a very compact junction unit to include uh, to be included in a small compact console so that we could have the first really small console concept in color cameras. The viewfinder tilts and serves two functions. Not only as a indicator of what the picture material is for the camera operator, but it eliminates the requirement for expensive waveform monitors in that we've incorporated a waveform sample into this viewfinder. In addition to doing a waveform sample for regular video levels, it also sets up color levels by nulling for white balance. The controls of the camera, all located here on the rear, are quite simple. But we have minimized uh, their use, but provided enough so that we could give good balance between several cameras as well. These controls indicate white balance for the red and blue channel, video level, either manual or automatic, chroma level, which is a potentiometer adjustment, an intercom level, and electronic static focus. Pedestal is located here. These levels are all adjusted through the waveform on the viewfinder of the device. On this particular model, we use a zoom rod. However, as an optional extra, the camera will be um, supplied with cable control lenses as well. It utilizes our Trinicon invention, which is a single tube type camera. That eliminates the need for convergence. What we've tried to design in this camera is very high quality with, with simplicity of use. We foresee the use of this camera in classrooms and for companies where they don't have a great deal of technological help available to them and that the people utilizing and setting up the cameras are training directors and teachers. In addition to that, this camera also provides all the features of the studio type requirements of larger educational institutions such as universities. We are extremely optimistic about the sales of this particular camera and, and are quite sure that we will be able to sell all that we can manufacture in 1974.